user guide for the Autobrick platform of the General Directorate for Infection Prevention and Control in Health Facility, GDIBC. First, we need to go through using this link. And then we will choose the icon of HAIs and RRT. After that, we will go through the home page and then after we use after we going home page we use the programs and then we will fill all the information that we need about the uh, the outbreak. First we start with region. and the health facility, the type, and the department. Create. Then the system will give you uh, uh, a, a, uh, a code for the outbreak. For example, we have Northern Border code as an example. Then after that, we have an outbreak with the code number. And you can start filling the whole information. Here, just an explain about which type of uh, health associated infection, for example, or COVID or MERS cough, what kind of outbreak that we deal with in the health facility, in the uh, healthcare facility. Even here, an example of the department. Also here, an example how to choose the microbe. If it is bacteria, it is positive gram or negative gram bacteria, for example. Here also an example of the name of microbe, if it is, for example, gram negative, if it is Klebsiella pneumonia, for example, Klebsiella species, here are the options that we can choose from. And then, after we finish all the information that regarding to the outbreak, we add the cases, and then we create the outbreak as uh, a notification outbreak. So here we have the code of the outbreak and all the information we need regarding the, uh, the outbreak information itself. We will start with OMAP. We click on it. The OMAP has multiple, uh, uh, multiple questions, so we need to read it, go over it, and then we choose the correct uh, status or situation regarding each one. We have 37 action, so we need to fill all of them through uh, the pages. If you need more information about OMAP, please go with GDIBC uh, manual of uh, 2023 and you will find all the information that you may be lo looking for regarding the OMAP. So we will go over all the 37 actions. After we're done, so please don't forget to choose save. And then we will have an investigation icon. So we will choose it and go with outbreak line list. Here we fill all the information regarding the patient about their national ID, the gender, age, transfer, all the information we are looking for regarding the patient, uh, personal information.
And if you have more than one case, for sure, because we are dealing with outbreak, except for Candida, so just we can add a new case. Please go over all the information regarding the patient, clinical information, demographic data, epidemiological data, all the information regarding the patient that we are that we are, that patients are involving in uh, in the outbreak. Here are some examples of each icon. We can open it. And also here, for example, if we have some choices. Here, for example, if we need to show the sample type, for example, clinical data, for example, also. Here, also the information about infected or colonized. So, all the information we will find it listed in the website. Here are some examples also. After we're done, and choose the correct information. Please make sure to download the correct information and data as uh, we, you can because this is very important information for uh, an outbreak investigation. And then after we finish all, don't forget to save the information. After with that, we make sure all of our information are correct, so the system will give me the classification of the outbreak. And then in symptoms, after that, we go with corrective plan. The corrective plan, it is uh, usually we start with class, uh, class B, so that we, we click on it. And we fill also all the information regarding the corrective action plan, the same thing with OMAP. And if we need more information about this, please uh, download the GDABC uh, Outbreak Manual 2023, the updated version, and then we will find all the information that you need or looking for. So also we need to finish all the information regarding the corrective action plan. Go over it all, fill it one by one. After you finish, please don't forget to save all the information. 